And then she's going to appeal to you, telling you, don't say nothing about KKs. Don't say nothing about KKC. I've never done anything to AAS. She mm. came for me because of what I said about a motherfucker named Al. Mm. So this that, that was the situation about? Yes. She, I can't tell. I can't talk about Al. I can't tell Al where he can go. I can't talk about Al. I can't tell Al where he can go. Anti Afro Spengalis. You heard the quote. I am going to talk about the lies that have been told on me. And I want to send this reminder. If someone tells lies about me, guess who has first dibs? or should have first dibs to respond. Me, I'm the person who's being lied on, if I so choose to respond. And this is a circumstance I'm choosing to respond. So let's talk about what you just heard. Nikki Proctor Walden made the statement that I told, as you heard, don't talk about KKC. Now, here's my concern about that statement. That would be the first time he's ever heard that statement. So I'm not in anyone's head. Quite possibly somebody could think I actually made that statement in a video that, you know, any video. Because I'm not thinking people listen to every single video that I make. Fact of the matter, it's a false statement. What is the motivation to make a statement like that? I never made any such statement. What is the reason that she would tell Remix this? I consider it instigation. Never made any such statement. So this is the first lie I'm debunking. I'm going to let you hear what I stated. Stay tuned and I will return. So I'm asking you, can you not mention this again? This is a very sensitive situation. So I'm asking you, can you not mention this again? This is a very sensitive situation. You heard what I stated for good measure. I played it twice. What I'm also going to do is give you the link to the actual video which never came down it's still up and i give you the timestamp so you're welcome to go there and play the video before after and see whether or not i said anything else related that would lead any person to logically conclude with that statement. And by the way, the statement that I made was related to one specific topic. One specific topic. I actually can't believe I'm needing to say there is a difference between asking and telling someone. This statement here, AAS came from Nikki because of Al. People please, this is a lie. I'll tell you the truth, which is what I'm here to do. You know Binary Code participated in those attack panels, right? And I'll say, so I'll save time in a second. Tiffany Griffin was involved in those attack panels. Those attack panels got so bad, the FBI had to come in and stop threats of sexual torture and sexual violence. You do not hear those threats anymore, do you? That's how bad it got. So police people, give me a break. What happened, Binary Code was carrying on with this bullshit in his live stream where Nikki was a moderator. I don't know Binary Code. He was involved with those attack panels. He was carrying on the same bullshit over in his live stream and she basically was signing on to whatever he was saying. That's basically what was happening. I was getting those screenshots. And then this thing with Al comes up. Binary code, and I really don't give a damn why he doesn't like Al. You 
you've heard the things he said about Al, she signs on to that. Pile on, pile on, pile on. Then comes this mess about the wheelchair and the old folks home. So you got people piling on and she joins in and calls him a smug jackass, among other things. I found it very surprising that she shows up on the message board. If you come on, leave comments, you just engage, you're just going to be able to post automatically. It's been a while because I don't specifically recall any comments connected to that avatar. I stated I had seen the avatar, but I had no comments connected to the avatar until I started getting those screenshots. So it was very strange, but it was like clockwork that let me see your handcuffs comes over there because she started jumping on the bandwagon to attack Al. And she interviewed him. He didn't do anything to her, but she jumps on this attack bandwagon and you think you're gonna bring this shit over to this channel. What the hell did this man do to any of these people? Nothing. I'm not gonna have that here. Let me see your handcuffs couldn't take the heat. Hearing things about Al, decided to forget that he treated her with respect and started conjuring up these fantasies about, oh, Al is so rude. Oh, Al interrupts people and ignores everything else that was done to her. Came over to the channel disrupting the harmony that we have here with each other after she blocked Al on her channel and wants to come over here and come for Al and stir up the situation with Nikki and, and Rev G and lying on Rev it, people. It's ridiculous. That is the situation. So she was excluded from the channel. We don't have time for any of that over here. That is what happened. Yes, anybody who supports the channel who supports me, they've done absolutely nothing to me. I am not going to treat the person like garbage. That was demanded of me so people can cover their own ass. Now, listen, look at this here. AAS encouraged Smoke to dox Nikki. She is the one who encouraged Smoke to dox me. Listen to me very carefully. Coming here to YouTube, as much as some people have tried to say she should be doing this and she should be doing this as a therapist, no, you don't want me to act like a therapist here. I'm telling you, you don't want me to do that because one of the things that I would do, I would elevate the percentage of my persuasive capabilities that I use about 0.2%. So if I was to elevate my persuasive capabilities here in these YouTube streets, as I would in the vast landscape of all the wheelings and dealings I must undertake in my line of work, my response to this statement would have been convincing beyond all doubt in saying that Nikki helped Dumpsy slash D Durrell Doc's remix. I would have just come on and I would have stated it and you would have believed me. I guarantee you, you would have believed me. So don't tell me you want me to act like a therapist up in here. It wouldn't look anything like Dumpsy. I can promise you that. Think twice before you demand that I act like a therapist because I would have convinced you that Nikki colluded with Dumpsy to Doc's remix. Now, on what grounds does Nikki have to make that statement, absolutely none, other than the fact that I left comments in the Smokes live stream. Obviously, what do we have going on here? Think about this, people. Nikki is unaware that Remix and the Smoke don't 
hit it off, that they're oil and water mixture. So of course, there's an angle here. There is an angle with mentioning this. Just like I could have come on here and convinced you because I know there's an angle with Remix and Dempsey. And there has been. See, I can be dirty like Nikki. I choose not to be because I don't have any more proof that she helped Dumpsey dox Remix than she does that I helped Smoke dox her. Aside from what? Comments left on a page. And by the way, she wasn't even doxed. Whatever word you want to use. Everyone here in these YouTube streets on their own searches for whatever they want to search for. They don't ask for my permission. It's such a demeaning disposition that she assumes. And then she says, I'm not even important, but I have all this power over everyone to tell them what to do. Listen, the first person that needs to assume a self-defense posture as to yourself would be you. Trying to get people to come after other people is weak. Defend yourself first. But in order to do so, you need the truth behind you. You can't defend yourself with lies. It simply does not work. And I demonstrated that. Is AAS risking a RICO charge? You know, this whole idea of what it is that she's doing, um, you know, I think she really needs to pay attention to the R. Kelly case because shit that he thought he was getting away with came back to bite him in the ass in the form of a RICO charge, meaning, bitch, you ain't got to do it. All you got to do is order it. I am sure a good number of you are aware what RICO is, a federal criminal statute that contains how many criminal charges, eligible criminal charges. I believe there might be 40 or so. I am not even looking at a list of RICO charges. I know what they are, like I'm in my head. I am, oh my God. I am not anywhere in the hemisphere of a RICO charge. Where in the hell does Nikki come up with this stuff? Well, that question might be answered in the next um, section, the final section here. Me posting videos falls under the RICO statute? No. The content of my videos falls under the RICO statute? No. Nothing even remotely related to RICO. Feel free to look up RICO. I am not going to waste my time other than to tell you how utterly ridiculous that statement is. So let's go to the final one. Does AAS master's degree overtake Nikki's doctorate. Yes, it does. Now, let me tell you why. I thought about whether I should post this information and I decided against it. The information I'm referring to would be the areas of specialization that I testify as an expert witness. And the reason why I'm not gonna post it is because I'm only here to illustrate a point. So let me explain something. We're talking about a range of contacts, an extensive amount of responsibilities in many different areas, a collaborative range that extends far outside of one establishment. She works at a university and I'm very familiar with the university system. I think I mentioned this before. Of course, professors, part of their promotion system would include community service, community engagement, collaboration, but the vast majority of their time is spent on a college or university campus. Not so for the type of work that I do. I have never been the therapist that sits in an office most of the day. I am community-based. So my range of collaboration and contacts is extensive. So my knowledge base is going to extend far beyond what Nikki has based on what I do for a living. Nikki is not able to go into a courtroom and testify as an expert in six different areas. 
So obviously my knowledge range is going to extend beyond what she possesses. That's just a fact. The collaboration range, the consultation that is required, the number of agencies that I have to work with, the subject matter that I have to keep abreast of, the training that I'm required to get, the recertifications that I have to maintain, the retesting that I have to undergo. It goes on and on. Now, thankfully, it's second nature to me. It's integrative. So, of course, my range, knowledge, depth, experience is going to be above and beyond Nikki's leaps and bounds. Does that mean that I'm a better person than her? No. However, her effort to continuously force that issue is making her look rather foolish. Just because someone has knowledge in a certain area does not make them a superior person. This is just a field that I chose. She chose the field that she chose. It is not a contest, but this is something that she wages continuously and targets and ridicules other people's credentials. She ridiculed Al's credentials. She stated that she didn't, but she did. So hopefully Nikki will decide this discussion is no longer necessary. This effort is no longer necessary in terms of who has more knowledge. And as far as the piece of hobnobbing with who, like, oh, you want to be with these people. I don't F with you. And I'm not sure why I would need to be effing with her. What's the purpose? This is a person who goes to every panel talking about me. I mean, she's a PhD. I deal with PhDs and MDs every single day, judges and lawyers and all the people that she feels she's on the same level with. I deal with them extensively. So it's not about being better than anybody. It's just what you do because you have to do it. And by the way, when we're all sitting around talking about clients, all these different professionals, nobody is thinking like this. Guess what we're doing? We're talking about people that we're helping. It's not about us as individuals. But this is the kind of aura that she puts out. There. Service providers don't have that disposition. We are laser focused on those that we are helping. So that's why I'm not going to put that list up. It's, I don't want to go there. I am here as a respite. Most of the time, I enjoy what I'm doing. This is a necessary spell that I have to go through. Letting you all know, you do not want me to utilize my skills that I have in the professional world. You don't. Now, before you level an accusation against me, be sure the same thing cannot be said about you. In the meantime, never forget to heed the warning, buyer beware.